I'm Stuart Shepard. We're going on a road trip. We're going to the top. This is the road up Pikes Peak, the last 10 miles or so, all dirt. Back in 1893, an English professor named Catherine Lee Bates and some of her teacher friends hopped on a prairie wagon and headed for the top. Uh, not far from the summit, they switched over to mules for the last part of the trip. <laughs> Did I mention there are hardly any guardrails? Bates was inspired by the Purple Mountain Majesty she saw, so she wrote a poem about it that she called Pike's Peak. It wasn't until 1910 that the words were matched with the tune to make the song we know as America the Beautiful. Here above 14,000 feet, you can see everything that the poet saw. It's good now and then to get away from the 24-hour cable news networks and shut off your smartphone and get a high-level look at this country of ours. For a hundred years, America the Beautiful has been sung across these fruited plains by school children and congregations, and many people still mean it when they ask God to shed His grace on thee. But in recent years, there are people who take issue with sentiments like those expressed in the third verse. O oh, beautiful, for heroes proved in liberating strife, who more than self their country loved, and mercy more than life. America, America, may God thy gold refine, till all success be nobleness, and every gain divine. So all of that to ask this, are you still willing to speak up for our Christian heritage? Are you still willing to stand up for the patriot dreams of our founders? Are you still willing to ask God to shed His grace on this beautiful nation? Are you willing? I am. <laughs>